my name is Dawn and this is Living a Word-Filled Life and I'm continuing to share scriptures with you that will alter the course of your life for the good. Now this scripture is one that drastically, drastically changed the course of our life. And I know the day that it happened, I know when I got it, you know, when you can read a scripture and you, you're like, oh, that's nice, and you move on. But then there's other scriptures that it sinks into your spirit and your soul and you get it and you get it. And then from that point forward, nothing can convince you otherwise. This is one of those scriptures and I wanna share it with you. And hopefully it'll do the same with you and alter the course of your life forever. That's what the whole Bible is supposed to do, <laughs> is to alter the course of our lives forever. Um, so I'm going to read it to you. It's Matthew chapter 6, verse 26 and 27, and it says, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Now, years ago, I had read this scripture, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, God feeds the birds. That's so nice. And yeah, yeah, we're not supposed to worry. That's also very nice. But I have these bills to pay, and I have this to pay, and this is coming in, and, you know, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Not what is God going to do, but what am I going to do? So, years ago... I was in a place of worry and yes I was studying the Bible and reading scripture and it was a nice verse and I thought yes God intends for that to happen asterisk it's not happening for me at the moment <laughs> so I was worrying about money in particular this one day and like you know trying to figure it out in my head like okay well if I move this here and if I do this there and I sell that there you know just trying to work it out and um, I was driving, and I was um, driving in Louisiana. I was living in South Florida at the time. And all these just thoughts were just going through my head. And I was trying to make sense of this scripture. I'm like, you know, I was trying to convince myself. You know, I'm worried about money, but God says we're not supposed to worry. And I was trying not to, but I still was. <laughs> and I felt the Lord telling me to stop at this grocery store. And I thought, okay. Pull it in the grocery store. I didn't need anything. And um, I thought, well, maybe he wants me to stop here because a friend will be there or someone that I, you know, need to talk to. I walked down the aisles. I didn't see anybody. I'm like, you know what? I'm here. You might as well make the trip work, <laughs> you know, work for you. I'm going to go to the bathroom, you know. So as I'm walking to the restroom, there is a bird in the bread aisle eating bread literally a bird inside of a Winn-Dixie <laughs> eating bread in the bread aisle. And I took a picture. I have it from a couple phones back. It's a grainy picture, but I took a picture. And it's just like, whoa, <laughs> this is what God is trying to get to us. His word is true. And I think if I would have seen a bird eating a worm outside, you know, that's, that's normal that wouldn't have had the impact that this did for me because God was showing me in my face, hey, I'm feeding the birds. I'm gonna take care of you. Stop worrying. Let me handle it. Let me deal with it. And from that day forward, we stopped worrying about money. Now, that doesn't mean we didn't have situations. That didn't mean we were no longer in need. That's not what, that, what I'm saying. I'm saying it from that day, I got it. From that day when I saw God feeding those birds in the store, I knew he was trying to show me that his word is real. His word is true. He cannot lie. So worrying doesn't do a thing. It does not do a thing. And I've heard Joyce Meyer say, if you sit in a rocking chair and you're rocking 
it's just like worry. You're you're moving and you're moving and you're moving and you're wasting time, you're spending time, but you're not going anywhere. That's what worry does. And God also tells us, you know, he provides for the birds. He provides food for the birds. He provides what they need. He's going to provide what you need too. But you can't worry. If you're worrying, he can't fix it. So you've got to stop the worry. And I know it's easier said than done. I was there. So from that day forward, we no longer worried. We no longer worried about money. We no longer worried about storms. We no longer worried about sickness. We no longer worried about life in general. Because we decided, God said he's not, for us not to worry, he's going to do it. Let him do it. He does a way better job than you or I can do anyway. So I'll give you a, even a recent example of this. When we moved from South Florida to California, um, we we're in a, a VA program and um, I knew the pay would increase because with this particular program, it's based on zip code. And so it went up like, I don't know, 60, 60 something dollars. No big deal. So we thought when we move from California back to Florida, it would go down $60, whatever. So no big deal. Well, we get a letter when we get here, you know, based on your zip code. And we, um, even though we live closer to Alabama than we do Pensacola, we have a Pensacola zip code. So it takes us longer to get to our town that our zip code is in than actually another state. So we're out of away from town. So we thought, I don't know why I thought that, but that the, the pay would be based on the area, but it's not, it's a zip code. So we took a pay cut and we didn't know that till we got here. It was $500. That's a lot of money to not have in your account every month. Well, um, another thing that happened is my husband needed a, a truck, a car, transportation, so we got a truck. So now we have a car note, and we didn't have a car note for him. So now we have a deficit of $500 added to the deficit of his car note. So we thought, you know what? We're not going to worry. <laughs> We're not going to worry. Worrying, God says, it doesn't do anything. And he also says he's going to feed the birds. He's going to feed you. So we literally did not worry. Most people, including myself years ago, would have thought, oh my goodness, how are we going to do this? Not my job. Not my job to worry. So we moved in. Um, it took a month to uh, make the change with the paperwork and stuff and, you know, our new address, blah, blah, blah. So Last month, we were paid the, actually, it's still this month, we were paid the $500 less. And, you know, we made some changes in, in the way that, you know, we buy groceries and the way that we eat out. You know, we made some adjustments and it's fine. We, don't, we weren't worrying about it. We were not going to worry about it. We didn't stop, uh, which is kind of interesting. We didn't quit tithing on what we were tithing on. Tithing is giving 10% back to God. And we decided, my husband and I, that we weren't gonna reduce our tithing by $50 because if your income is $500, you tithe 50, but we're not, we weren't gonna decrease our tithe. So we continue to tithe based on receiving the $500 even though we weren't receiving it anymore. So I hope that makes sense. So this week, we get a letter in the mail. This program that we're in has been in existence for nine years. We've been a part of it for seven. In the history of the program, there has never been a change in pay. There's never been a change in the way that it's determined. But God, but God, this time, this week, for this month, from here on out, there's a change. They, they decided there was going to be a change. And so they rounded it to where 
everybody in the country is kind of more on the same playing field and there wouldn't be as much up and down when you move around type thing. So guess what? Guess what? The pay increased. Guess how much it increased? Guess. And if you guessed $500, you are correct. So, hello. God will work it out for you. I was just, I got the letter in the mailbox. I was boohoo sobbing. I'm sure the neighbor's like, oh my gosh, somebody died. She got a letter. <laughs> somebody died. I was so just thrilled and, and ecstatic just seeing how God works and see how seeing how he moves. So we were only without that $500 for one month. And somehow we're still fine. Like it, it's, it's just mind boggling how uh, with just a couple of adjustments, we're going to end up better at the end of the month with getting $500 less than we did the month with getting the $500. It's just, it's just crazy how it works out. So I don't know how God does stuff, but he does, but it's not for us to decide. It's not for us to figure out. But my prayer for you is that you take these scriptures that I'm sharing with you and, and take them to heart. You need to be so convinced, so convinced in your heart of hearts that you know that you know that you know in your knower that God's word is true and nobody, nothing, Nobody can change your mind and you will see a move of God like you have never seen before. I promise you. But when you start being wishy-washy like I was a long time ago, it was, it was hard. And it's not always about money. I'm just using this as an example of God's provision. He wants you to be provided for. He wants you to be blessed so that you can bless others. So in continuing to give us the $500 each month, that's 50 more dollars that goes out to preach his word. That's 50 more dollars that goes into the kingdom. So the more you get, the more you're able to give, the more you're able to push God's word out into the world. The Lord knows we need that right now. <laughs> the world is desperate for some Jesus right now. I promise you. So, I'm getting all worked up. I need to calm down. But I am just, I just want you to get this. I want you to know God cares for the birds. He's, he takes care of the birds. He will take care of you if you will let him. If you stop worrying. St what, what has it gotten you so far? More worry? Uh, sleepless nights? Anxiety? Illnesses? That's not a good harvest <laughs> when you worry. Let God worry. Quit worrying about stuff. Give it to God and let him fix it. So, I'll calm down. So you be blessed. I want you to get this. I just want you to get it. You be blessed and I'll see you next week. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.